Welcome you all. Today we are going to discuss one more problem in your gas turbines. The problem is the layout of an automotive gas turbine is shown in figure. A two stage compressor with an overall pressure ratio of 6 is driven by HP turbine. The HP turbine provides motive power to car. A heat exchanger with 65% effectiveness is provided. The air inlet temperature to the LP compressor is 15 degrees centigrade and the HP turbine inlet temperature is 800 degrees centigrade. The mass flow is 0.7 kg per second. Calculate A the net power development, B, the overall thermal efficiency, C, the specific fuel consumption, assume isentropic efficiency of compression 0.8 and that of each turbine 0.85, the mechanical efficiency of compressor shaft 98% and the combustion efficiency 97%. Take the calorific value of the fuel 42,600. First we will write the given data. So this layout of gas turbine is given. The overall pressure ratio of the compressor that is P3 by P1 is equal to 6 and the effectiveness of heat exchanger 0.65 and the inlet temperature to the low pressure compressor T1 is equal to 15 degrees centigrade that is equal to 288 Kelvin and the turbine inlet this is T1 the inlet temperature to the high pressure turbine that is T5 is equal to 800 degrees centigrade to 1073 Kelvin mass flow rate is equal to 0.7 kg per second isentropic efficiency of compression 0.8 and the isentropic efficiency of each turbine is equal to 0.85 mechanical efficiency of the compressor shaft 98% efficiency of compression 97% calorific value of the fuel is equal to 42,500 kilojoule per kg calculate A net power developed by B overall efficiency C. Specific fuel consumption. In this problem, they are given the inlet temperature T1, high pressure turbine inlet temperature T5, and then effectiveness of heat exchanger 0 0.6, then isentropic efficiency of compressor 0 0.8, isentropic efficiency of both turbine 0 0.85, mechanical efficiency of the compressor transmission is 98%, combustion efficiency 97%. They are asking net output that is work of the low pressure turbine is equal to M into Cp into T6 dash minus T7 dash. And the second one is overall efficiency, efficiency of the cycle, overall efficiency W net divided by heat supplied. Then this W net we get from here, heat supplied is equal to M into Cp into T5 minus T4. Then this toy T4 we can be identified from effectiveness of heat exchanger is equal to actually transfer over maximum possible heat transfer. Then the specific fuel consumption is equal to mass flow rate of the fuel over the work output, W net work output. This mass flow rate of the fuel is equal to heat supplied over the calorific value of the fuel. Now solution. First for the TS diagram, so this T3 by T1 is equal to 6 bar means this is uh, 1 bar 6 bar temperature N3 to 88 Kelvin. T5 temperature is equal to 1073 Kelvin. And uh, the process 1 to 3 is the high pressure and low pressure compressor. And 4 to 5 is the combustion chamber. 5 to 6 is the high pressure turbine. 6 dash to 7 is the low pressure turbine, then 7 to 8 is the heat exchanger. Now, first step to find the temperature. We know that isentropic compression 1 to 3, P3 by T1 is equal to P3 by P1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Assume the air is the working medium. So, gamma is equal to 1.4 Then T3 is equal to T1 into P3 by P1 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma T1 to 88 P3 by P1 is equal to 6 Then 0.4 over 1.4 It gives P3 is equal to 480.5 Kelvin And we know that the, the efficiency of compression is equal to isentropic compression over actual compression that is equal to T3 minus T1 over T3 dash minus T1. Efficiency of the compression they are given 0.8. T3 we found 480.5. Then T1 to 88 over T3 dash minus 288. Then T3 dash is equal to 528.6 Kelvin. Now from the figure we observed that the total work of compressor is obtained from the high pressure turbine so that work of compressor 
is equal to work produced by high pressure turbine multiplied by mechanical efficiency. That is work of compressor is equal to mass of the working medium multiplied by specific heat into P3 dash minus T1 over mechanical efficiency is equal to mass of the working medium multiplied by Cp of working medium T5 minus T6 dash. So this common term, this common term M mass and Cp we know. So T3 minus T1 over mechanical efficiency is equal to T5 minus T6 dash. So we can write 528.6 minus 288 over 0.98 is equal to T5 already we know 1073 minus T6 dash. So while simplifying we get T6 dash is equal to 827.5 Kelvin. Then in high pressure turbine isentropic efficiency of HP turbine is equal to actual expansion over ideal expansion that is equal to T5 minus T6 dash over T5 minus T6. That is 0.85 is equal to 1073 minus 827.5 divided by 1073 minus T6. While simplifying, we get T6 is equal to 784.18 Kelvin. Now, isentropic expansion of high pressure turbine T5 over T6 is equal to T5 over T6 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. Then P5 by P6 is equal to T5 by T6 whole to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. Then P6 is equal to 6 bar. This one is 1073 over 784.18. 1.4 over 0.4. We get P6 is equal to 2.002 bar. Now expansion in low pressure turbine. T6 over T6. 7 is equal to P6 over P7 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. T7 is equal to T6 over P6 by P7 whole to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma. P6 already we know 784.18 over 2.002 by 1 power 0.4 divided by 1.4. Derive that P7 is equal to 678.61 Kelvin and the isentropic expansion in low pressure turbine is equal to T6 dash minus T7 dash over T6 dash minus T7. Then this is equal to 0.85. T6 dash is 827.5 minus T7 dash unknown term over T6 dash 827.5 minus 678.61 we get T7 dash is equal to 700.94 Kelvin. Now network or work of low pressure turbines equal to mass of the working medium multiplied by Cp into T6 dash minus T7 dash that is equal to 0.7 multiplied by 1.0 T6 dash 827.5 minus 700.94 we get 89.028 kilojoule per second that is equal to kilowatt answer A. Now the second question is overall efficiency that is is equal to network done over the heat supplied. This heat supplied is equal to mass of the working medium multiplied by specific heat of the working medium into T5 minus T4 over efficiency of combustion. We know T5, the T4 is unknown term. So when you are taking heat exchanger, that is, we know that effectiveness of heat exchanger is the actual heat transfer over maximum possible. Transfer is equal to T4 minus T3 dash over T7 dash minus T3 dash. T4 unknown term. T3 dash is 528.6. T7 dash is 700.94 minus 528.6. Then T4 is equal to 640.621 Kelvin. Then Heat supplied is equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by 1.005 multiplied by 1073 minus 640.21 over 
0.937 that is equal to 313.518 kilojoule per second so that overall efficiency is equal to the power output is 89.028 over 313.518 is equal to 28.39 percent m7 the third question is specific fuel consumption in kg per kilowatt hour now we know that heat supplied is equal to mass flow rate of the fuel into calorific value of the fuel. mass flow rate of the fuel is equal to heat supplied over calorific value of the fuel heat supplied is equal to 313.586 over 42600 that is equal to 7.3612 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per second that is equal to 26.5 kg per hour then SRC is equal to mass of the fuel over the network that is equal to 26.5 over 89.06 that is equal to 0.2976 kg per kilowatt hour this is answer C subscribe to our channel like if you are satisfied and share because it may useful to someone